did you guys have any hesitation in playing people that are still alive and so beloved? Uh, definitely had an element of hesitation, um, but then it was more exciting. It was a challenge in a way. There were going to be lots of elements that, um, to it that we had to get down, um, which was really an acting challenge, I suppose. So that's the thing that you then go, oh gosh, there's a lot of work to do. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was really exciting. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's always a degree of hesitation with every role as an actor. You go, oh my God, I've got to do it now. Yeah. I suppose with these, they're so, there's, there's such a sort of notoriety to them that one uh, does hesitate a bit. But, I, you know, the writing was so good and I wanted to sort of, I thought he was such an interesting, conflicted character that, I, 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 yeah, I thought this would be cool. Did you have, like, any hesitation at all in taking on a, a role, you know, Winston Churchill? Like, and he's so well known. No hesitation at all. Uh, a lot of fears, <laughs> but it was so, so exciting and and so many marvelous people. Uh, the fact that it was Peter Morgan writing it and Stephen Daldry directing it, that took away, it took away all my fears. You think they're gonna watch? Do you have anything you want to say to them? They're not on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could get them a subscription. Oh. We could send it as a gift. Because yes. we got those one year, you know, yes. we could send, we should send them a little Chromecast with that one year little <laughs> yes. gift. Yes, okay, yeah. we'd love. Um, I, I don't know, I've managed to sort of not try and think about whether they watch it or not. Actually, I'm sure the others would say that too, um, because the idea of that is so daunting that you're kind of, you know, you the chronology of somebody's life, yeah. but also the reimagining of it. Um, no, but what what I do know that. is that for just from watching it as an outsider, the the job that Claire and Matt have done in that relationship is so beautiful and specific and and subtle and detailed that it maybe becomes its own thing. And and I don't know. I haven't answered the question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I watch it. <laughs> I doubt it. I mean, I don't think they're. They're very aware, though, yeah. aren't they? Uh, yeah. Don't you, from speaking to the Queen yesterday, <laughs> <What>? you know, <laughs> from your conversation with the Queen yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, she's... she's, she's <laughs> I have oh, what, no what idea. You <laughs> yeah. God, do we have a message? I definitely don't have a message. Can I come and stay for a <laughs> <bit>? <laughs> yeah. Did you have any hesitation in, in playing, uh, you know, taking on roles that are so kind of beloved, like these people are so beloved? Yes, I did initially. I felt, um, I thought, oh God, you know, people that remember her and were really close to her and um, I felt slightly daunted. Um, but then, as you start to read all about her, I completely fell in love with who she was and really I, I, it came down to the fact that I just wanted to capture the essence of who she was and the spirit of, of her as opposed to a presentation of everything that she was and also I'm not her and I used to remember feeling way too tall compared to Claire and being like should I just try and hunch a little bit or not you know and then that all goes out the window and actually what became what came out of it was the fact that our relationships as a company as a cast were so close that Claire really was like a sister and you really were you know like a really close relationship with a dad and and Philip was a brother and and that and that was really magical, actually, because that sort of took, carried it forward mm. and, and lessened the anxiety about... It was fun. Um, it was really good fun showing up to work, you know, and particularly and working with Stephen, who has that attitude where you're, the, you, there, there, isn't, there is no wrong. It's just, just try something different. And, and he had a very uh, experimental approach each day. When he'd show up, he'd have a plan, but he'd be ready to throw the plan out the window and mm. try something else if he heard an idea that that took him, you know. If it's so. not fun, don't do it, he always says. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Juliana Rancic, and you are watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.